welcome back. Today we are checking out the Savello Aspero. Now this truly might be the king of gravel bikes. Although many crown to be or many seem like they should be being like the Trek checkpoint, potentially the best selling gravel bike of all time, it doesn't mean that they necessarily are the king of gravel bikes. The Aspero 5 from Savello is potentially the fastest looking gravel bike out there. Proven with aerodynamic wind test tunnel testing, wind test tunnel testing, bit too many testings there, but overall it is a fast bike, designed fast, designed by people who know fast bikes, and they make it look fast, and then on top of that they make it look good, like really, really good. All right, let's check out a few of the changes. Overall, fantastic looking bike. I mean, the colorway is this gold to purple blend with a hint of green. Depending what angle you see it, it is a really good looking bike. Overall, this model here is the Apex One, so that means it's got the Shimano GRX 105 equivalent. So it is a fast, nippy little shifting set. It's gonna work really well. Obviously, it's got those bigger rings in the front, so you'll be able to keep that speed up with a compact set in the back. So you're still gonna be able to climb pretty much everything, but it keeps everything tight. Everything works well, shifts well. The GRX compared to the 105, you just get rid of all that excess plastic and make it as clean looking as possible. Helps reduce like buildup and all that dirt and grime getting in there. Two, it also just looks clean. Although there's something about road bikes which look good with all that kind of plastic shininess to them, there's something about just as little material there as possible, and that's what's nice about the GRX. It suits the gravel bike theme very well. On the front end, you have this adjustable geometry flip chip, which is to accommodate for the fact that this can fit both 650B and 700C tires, so you can get quite a big 650 in there, bit more clearance because the wheel diameter is a little smaller, and a 700C tire in there, which is what it comes stock with. Whereas some brands are doing a mixture of both right out of the box, this one is only available as a 700C. You have to custom build a 650B. Downsides with going to a 650B, it will roll a little slower on the faster stuff, just being more tire surface, tire friction, but it will be 10 times comfier and you'll be able to fit much more tractionable tire there. So if you're leaning to more off-road, and we're talking beyond gravel at this point to the bigger off-road situations where you're doing a mountain bike trail, single track fire roads, a 650B may just be the tire for you. It's gonna be comfier, it's gonna grip a lot better. Everything is designed for more of a mountain bike style fit, but you're still in the gravel bike, so any flats or big steep climbs, you are just flying up in comparison. Like I said though, this comes stock with 700C, so it's a fast rolling tire pretty big size to it. So this comes with a decent size front tire and rear tire on it, obviously both the same. They grip well, they're rolling fast, so you're able to really focus on the road, but on the gravel and backcountry stuff, you still have a lot of traction and capabilities there. They do come a 32 mil wide rim, which is pretty significant, so you can fit some beefy, chunky tires in there. Obviously, they recommend four mils of clearance on either side, but you can probably fit up to a 45 in here, no issue with any brand really, with even the most aggressive treading out there. The Savello again puts on the Eastern Bar, so this year they have done the same thing. It does a bit of a splay, a sway out, becoming very, very common on gravel. It's gonna just give you good normal hand positions, tucked arrow, and then when you're in a more aggressive attack position, it's gonna lower your hands out. It's give you a bit more stability to it. Overall, you're able to just control the bike a teeny bit more in rougher, more technical situations instead of being so tight, higher body position, and that's gonna put you in a higher center of gravity. All little changes, but they do add, add up to a bit more stable of a bike. So Velo has always been a fast bike, and with this one, they have not stopped there. It is an aerodynamically designed bike. They've even got the wheel cut out, which helps cause less drag on the wheel. Like, scientifically, very advanced bike. Will we notice it? I don't know, maybe. I mean, a lot of the time when you're gravel riding, you are alone. So these little details do add up to become something a little more powerful. Let's not forget that this is a hydraulic disc brake model. So you're able to really stop with this as well. All bikes are obviously leaning towards the disc brakes now, but something like this comes with very powerful brakes on it. You're gonna be able to stop very well. And especially in worse conditions, the disc brakes are gonna perform 
and outperform pretty much any rim brake on the market. Overall, I do think Cervelo has really done a good job here. There's a little less customization throughout the geometry. Each size is custom kind of fit and built. So each head tube angle, all that kind of angles and degrees and all that changes, each depending on the ride. So you get a real custom fit per bike. It makes for a very good fitting bike. I have seen them fitting a little long and a little bigger than usual. So if you're saying a 56 Trek, we're seeing a lot of people jump down to the 54 Cervelo. Bike's getting longer and longer. And even though this isn't that long of a bike, it seems to be the reach is quite far. So keep that in mind. Try and sit on one if you can or compare a similar model to it. Really get out there and try it because these ones have been fitting a little big. Hopefully the store around has something for you. If you are looking for a bike which will go really, really fast on gravel, but also keep up with 90% of the road riders, this one might be it. The Panaracer tires are fast rolling on pavement and traction off road. The geometry is very aggressive, but still long and low for gravel riding. It's got the right combination of everything, including aerodynamics and off-road ability. Only coming in a carbon fiber model right now. Who knows if they'll ever make an aluminum model with this one. Just like Santa Cruz, there is a part shortage. So I see a lot of companies just narrowing down and focusing on select models to get product out there. Hopefully you're able to get your hands on one. Let me know if you've got out there and show me some videos or pictures if you've got them. Thank you for watching. Get out there and good luck.